Okay, next. A couple of the fittings that we need to worry about here. I'm going to start talking start by talking about pipe threads. So threaded fittings that attach together. When you're talking about um, water hoses, pipes, that kind of stuff. Jake, can you pay attention over here, please? Okay, thank you. Okay. It's a special type of thread. It's not like a thread on a bolt. Thread on a bolt is called a parallel thread. So the thread is the same size all the way down the bolt. A pipe thread is known as a tapered thread. It's wider at the bottom than it is at the top here. The end is narrower, the back side is bigger. And that makes it so starting the thread, it's really, really loose. It goes in easily. But as you thread farther and farther and farther up that thread, it gets tighter and tighter and tighter. Nice thing about pipe threads is as they get tight against each other, they start to seal off so liquid can't get by them. In fact, in a plastic pipe, often pipe threads will seal themselves completely just like that. Just by tightening them up, it'll seal. We can't rely on a pipe thread to seal itself. So we add something to it to make sure it will seal. We put this little white tape called Teflon tape around the threads. And when you add Teflon tape to it, um, it's just a very, very soft plastic. As that plastic gets threaded into those threads, any little gaps or crevices or spots that water or liquid could get through get filled up by that soft plastic. And now, when you thread these things together, they still thread together fine, because remember they were loose to start with, so the Teflon tape has room to get in there. But as you tighten it up, any of those little gaps that were in there are now filled up with Teflon tape and any water that's trying to get out that thread will get will bump into that Teflon tape. It's sealed now. Water won't get out. It is, ooh, it's a tight. It is very, very important on the suction side of a pump <coughs> that there are no leaks. <coughs> As the pump is sucking water into here, if there's any leak at all that air can get in, Air is easier to pump than water. Air, is, air gets through gaps easier than water. It'll take the air over the water. So if there's any little gap in this thing anywhere, or a little pinhole or something, it will suck air in, it won't suck the water in, and your pump won't work. It'll get air into the pump, it'll do what's called cavitating. It'll start spinning without pumping water. So on the suction side, it is very important that we seal every joint. On the discharge side, not so important because if you have a bit of a leak on the discharge side, you'll get water squirting out somewhere, but your pump will still work. You'll still get lots of water. It's just a bit messy. Duct tape. Duct tape, there we go. So on the suction side, we have to Teflon tape every one of our joints. So this uh, here is a suction hose that we're just creating to run the high banker over there. Uh, we have to add a few fittings. I've already put one hose barb in here with a pipe thread on the end. I can now put the Teflon tape around it and it's actually important which direction you spin this Teflon tape. Looking at the end it has to go on clockwise because if you don't spin it on the right way when you start attaching your fitting onto it, when you're spinning your fitting on it actually unravels the Teflon tape. So put it on the right way, we can put our fitting on there Spin it in. I'll talk to you later about all these fittings because these fittings are a special fitting for water pumps. Tighten it on. Usually just hand tight with Teflon tape is enough to seal it. I'm just going to give it a little tweak here to make sure it's perfect. Ugh. That won't leak. That will be good. Okay, so pipe threads help seal themselves because they're tapered but we ensure that they make a perfect seal by adding the Teflon tape in there. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Suction side of a pump, absolutely critical. It is perfectly sealed. Discharge side, yeah. 
might spray a bit of water if it's not sealed, but it won't stop your pump from pumping. There's your first lesson. After break, when we get back, we'll talk about the different types of fittings for attaching things together, and we're also going to talk about what's called a hose barb, how you get hose barbs into hoses and then seal them off with pipelines. Okay, you guys.